So hello guys, so today we're going to take a look at my port of Gnash, which is an Adobe Flash interpreter for the, uh, well, for pretty much everything. Uh, two years ago I've actually ported it to the RetroStone 1, and it could run games like Abobo's Adventure or Ultimate Sonic, but uh, let's see how the funky runs them and unfortunately not that great, but you all see what I mean so uh, Let's start with alternate Sonic since this is probably the game it runs the best So you can actuate mouse mode by pressing the L button And exit the mouse mode by pressing L again and unfortunately it's kind of hard to record because the screen is very small but yeah uh... no right. and then we can start So now I can exit the uh, mouse mode. And uh, Y is set to the space button, and A and B are set to the Z and X button. So uh, if I can move, there we go. So, uh, yeah, uh, I will constantly swap in and out of uh, the swap memory. So, if you can replace the internal SD card, I would recommend that you use the fastest SD card that you can use. Like, well, the fastest UHS-1 SD card that you could use. Because it will make a big difference for games like... Uh, Sonic Roboblast that will rely on the swap memory a lot more often. So, yeah. And unfortunately, uh, because of that, some games will not run on the front key, including Able Boys Adventure and Super Smash Rush. So let me exit this game. So. Let's play Halion Home in Need. So yeah, because of the low resolution, you can barely make out the text. And that can be an issue for some Flash games as well. Especially mouse-driven games. And then it gets really slow the moment that you scroll. And it freezes on because of the limited amount of RAM. Uh, I have made some suggestions to the developers of the funky so we could save about 2 megabytes of RAM. But yeah, Halion Harmony runs not that great. Well, it's playable, but could be better. So that, uh, let me try some other game. So, so yeah, some character designer to show you what I mean by that. Uh, shoot.
So, uh, yeah, as you can see, you can barely make out the text because it uses a really high resolution. And because of that, it can be a bit hard to actually select the actually just crashed on me right now. <laughs> that can happen. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this was not because I run out of battery. All right. So let's try a uh, Final Fantasy Sonic X. I'm pretty sure some of you may remember this one. And it is asking us if we want to play the intro and no, because the intro will absolutely kill the performance of the funky. But unfortunately now it seems that the Oh my god, that brings me back so many memories. And, and that's actually the first time I'm playing it again in like 10 years. And yeah, it's actually playable. So I guess it's fine for strategy games. Well, turn based games <laughs> so it runs fine as long as you don't play the intro but thankfully you can choose for that game all right so uh, Pikachu must die so let's see if it runs okay I have to note that some games will not run on Nash, but apparently this one will work. Yeah, this one might work. Oh my god, that, that brings me back. And unfortunately, uh, this game is not playable because it is way too slow. And it's really meant for uh, to be played with a mouse and not with the D-pad. But you can try to play that game, I suppose. Uh, there's also Sonic Blocks, not sure what this is about, this is the first time I'm playing this. Uh, and unfortunately, um, you may encounter this issue in some games, uh, sometimes they will not map the buttons to the D-pad or the Z and X buttons, so unfortunately you cannot play those until I find a way to remap uh, the buttons or show you a way of remapping. There's also Undead Assault. Let's see uh, what this is about. Alright. Mouse click to attack and space bar to jump attack. Uh, so that game is a bit problematic because... Oh, well, I could fix that one, but... 
I will need to map the space button to so yeah that one could be playable with some modifications but even then still runs way too slowly and that will be like a common issue with most games out there now if you if you could find like the flash games design for the PSP those will actually well this they, they should run fine in fact they should run a lot faster than most of the common flash games that you can find out there so yeah that should be pretty much it for now uh, maybe there will be improvements in the future but for now, uh, you will only be, be able to play some games. And unfortunately, I can't do much about it because uh, of some limitations. Now, uh, uh, I have made some suggestions to the uh, developer of the phone key. So they could save about 2 megabytes of RAM. And that should help a lot. Even that small amount should help uh, with some games. But yeah, that's pretty much it, so bye.